All right, now it's time to uh, put the ballast on the shoulders. Start by putting it right on the ties. Basically letting it knock down from there. I have to use my fingers to knock it down. Then put ballast on the rest of the shoulder. Again, knock the grains of ballast off of the rail. Like that. Use my finger to knock it off of the ties. Try it again. Just pat the shoulders a little bit to get it to go back. Make sure there's no ridges. Have the ballast go back in between the ties. All right, uh, we've got the ballast um, pretty much where I want it, and now it's time to use a wetting agent. Um, just using a spray bottle from Walmart for 97 cents, filled with 70% isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol basically. And I'm going to spray this on here, and I use this alcohol again because it's uh, got a very low surface tension, and when it hits the ballast, it won't disturb it. At least that's the plan. Um, one thing just found something there I wanted to change. I have to find you eventually just simply say stop. Alright, now instead of spraying it straight 
on like this, I usually spray in upwards motion so that a spray goes up and then gently falls down, especially when it initially gets wet. So I'll just be back here and we'll just put a mist up. And again, the mist goes up and then gently falls on the ballast. Very low surface tension with the rubbing alcohol. And so it does not disturb the ballast. Once it gets initially wet, like this, then the wetness that it receives from the gentle rainfall is enough to hold it in place. And then I can be a little bit more aggressive here and focus the alcohol right on the, the ballast. And just have to really, really drench it good. does dry fast so you can't really do too much at a time then you have to go back and wet it again I'll probably split this into two sections so I'll start right here back to here and concentrate on that right now get it really really wet again I have better luck with this alcohol than I did with a syringe when I use the syringe it just even though I was using alcohol it had the uh, um, the ballast would run with it. Uh, so I went back to the spray. It is a little bit more messy. You have to watch out it doesn't get on the cars too much. And now it's time to put on the glue. And this is 50% uh, glue, 50% water, and a couple drops of dish soap. And we're just going to squirt it right into um, on the ballast, you usually do the like, same procedure as putting the ballast on, do between the rails first, and then uh, go on the outside. Be really kind of careful on the sides. You don't want it to put so much glue on that it runs down the sides and takes ballast with it. I do, right after I put the glue on, so I do take a toothpick here and I do one more chan, one more time to make sure there's no ballast on the inside of the rails. And here we have the finished product after doing some cleaning of the rails and a touch up on some of the loose uh, granules of ballast. Now it's ready for trains to roll. Still have uh, some weathering to do, which I'll be doing with the airbrush in a little bit. Uh, probably maybe later this week. Um, but overall, it's pretty much done. When I do the weathering, I will um, try and do another video to show how all that's done. Uh, a lot of people use uh, weather chalks, which is fine. I usually use my airbrush, uh, which works well also. So I look forward to seeing that video later on. But I hope you enjoy this video on uh, ballasting track.